Now, here's Rick Campanelli. So Vikas Kohli is like the David Foster of Bollywood. The Toronto musician is becoming the go-to composer for Bollywood directors who need scores for their films. I think I'm in a lucky place now where, um, fortunately, I'm not begging artists to come and work with me anymore. Now they call and I try to take on the projects that I like. A career as a musician was actually plan B. Vikas used to be an investment banker. People sort of think, well, how did I end up in music? But it was, I think it's more, how did I end up in finance? Because uh, music was definitely my first love. Uh, just no one told me that there was any possible way to have a career at it. Vikas also worked with the National Film Board of Canada and artists like Swollen Members and Justin Nezuka. Hip-hop artists, blues, country, folk. I love metal. Cheesy 80s metal. Yeah, I love it. Uh <laughs> On this quiet street, from this unassuming house, you can hear the throbbing of some of the hottest beats around. From hip hop to bang rap. So here we have some of the artists that you produced. Who do we have here? Uh, there's so many different artists in all sorts of different genres. Choral, punk, country. Here in Mississauga, Ontario is where music producer Vikas Kohli is churning out hits. And in here is the uh, control room where everything comes together. Uh, vocal booth. And it's here, in this tiny studio outfitted by Kohli's mom's old furniture, that the Punjabi pop star Mika Singh came to find his new sound. When the Bangra singer met the Canadian producer who grew up on punk and hip-hop, the result was this. It's more like, if, you know, if I were just to play that with the beat, where's my beat? Here's the beat. That's just like a Western dance track. Coley thinks his eclectic understanding of music is precisely why Singh sought him out. After all, he could have had any Mumbai music producer. When I'm working with an Indian artist, I'm absolutely bringing all this Canadian background that has come with me, um, you know, from all these albums that I've listened to. Coley's collaboration with Singh exposed his music to an even bigger listening audience when the song ended up in the Bollywood movie Mission Istanbul. It's in that climate of international musical trade that Kohli is preparing for his most ambitious project yet, a concert to mark the Indian International Film Awards. It's called the Bollywood Mashup, and a mashup it is. Here we've got the layout for four instruments that are all going to be doubled on stage, so a total of eight string players. We've got the violin one, violin two, viola and cello. Playing with a rock band, five-piece rock band, we're going, we're going to be doing these Bollywood funk songs. Uh, from the, like, the 80s and 90s, and uh, we're putting strings on it, and we're putting a tabla on it. The Bollywood Monster Mashup in Mississauga was one such event that used the IFAs as catalyst for unique creative collaborations between East and West, classical and modern. We're basically time traveling through Bollywood. Uh, but we're doing it in a way that no one has heard before, and I guarantee no one's heard this before. For instance, the 50s and 60s Bollywood is going to be done by an electronic musician who's jamming with South Indian classical musicians. So, and then the, the 80s and 90s Bollywood is going to be done by a rock band with a tabla player and an eight-member string section. Headlining the show, playback singer Monali Thakur says events such as these are equally special to both the performers and the fans. It's a wonderful thing to actually come here and... Uh, come close to your f uh, fans or your uh, music lovers in Canada because even we don't get to see them so often. So it's any day mutually an amazing feeling. And gathering in a brand new venue, the fans came from all backgrounds and all age groups. Between the electronic music, the funk, the strings, the Bollywood star, the dancers, the dolls, uh, if you can't find something you like, then you, you just don't like anything. That's the <laughs> only thing I'm going to say. <laughs>